Okay, uh, welcome back to another grading tutorial video. Uh, for this video, I will focus on the topic of dry cleaning. Um, it's a, a method used by many uh, to clean up the back covers of the book or even the front covers to make it look better as well as to improve the grade. Um, it definitely should be done with extreme caution because um, you can really harm the book if you don't know what you're doing so I highly caution anyone to want to do this to test and hone their skills on as many low grade beaters or readers as possible okay the first thing I do is I just grab this book out of my collection and this book has been in a bag for so many years and it was old and dirty so the first thing that you sh that I would do okay once again there's are uh, many ways to do everything so I'm just showing you how I do it the first thing I do is I take a soft tissue okay this is a brand new clean uh, soft tissue and I just gently rub the book Okay. Normally I would wear gloves, okay, but I'm gonna skip that part for this video. So normally I wear gloves so that any oil from my finger is not going to transfer into the book. So as you can see, just keep on doing it. And for the purpose of this video, I just do it just a little bit, okay. I apologize for the poor focus of this, but as you can see, from just me uh, rubbing the cover for not even uh, 20 seconds, you see that? See all the the dirt transfer into the tissue, okay? So. As you can see, it's it's dirty, but you're trying to do as much as you can with the soft tissue. Okay, that's the first thing. Because this will do the least amount of damage to the covers, as long as you don't uh, fold the cover as you rub it down. Okay, so I think that's about enough. It's there, it's dirty. It's hard to uh, show this visually, but you know, unfortunately I think, uh, my apology because the video come out fairly poorly, but as you can see, there's a lot of uh, dirt that was transferred into the tissue. Now, let's just uh, focus on, let's say, let me demonstrate this on an area. Okay, so if you can see the, the entire book pretty much is, is, is dirty. The back cover is dirty. So I use a piece of paper for now just to uh, hold down the cover and not transfer any of my uh, grease fingers or anything like that into the covers. I use a Pentel um, eraser and then for tight spot I also use this uh, a pen eraser okay but I find that these work very well and the key thing to cleaning the cover is patient okay it take time it take patient and a lot of gentle back and forth not uh, heavy rubbing because that's how you can uh, wear off the gloss of the covers as well as potentially rub off the fibers of the cover so that's a very important part okay so let's see let's focus on the dirt that you see here okay and here I'm using this piece of paper you know why so that I can cover up the black area you do not want to touch the non-white area because that's you can rub off the ink 
of the covers. If you touch the black, the yellow, anything that's not white. So for safety, I line up the paper, as you can see. So now it cover up all of the black ink of the black cover area. So now, here we go. I also took a scan of this book, okay? I took a scan of this book before and after. And if you see the link in this video, it provides the scan of before and after. So after you watch this video, go ahead and click on that because I think that will give you a better idea of the result of my dry cleaning, okay? As you can see, just keep on working that, that. There's nothing special. Like I said, just take your time. There is no rush. But what I would do is trying to clean this cover as much as possible and then scan it and then show you the before and after. Okay, and then so you can see the result. But this is it. I basically go inch by inch on the edge first and hopefully you already can see the benefit of it and if I put up this book against the light you will see that the gloss of this book are still intact okay but uh, like I said do not touch the yellow area because the yellow area will be damaged but as far as this black area here let's give it a shot once again I block out the potential area that I can damage if I if my hand slip and the eraser went over the area Like I said, just keep working in small area, okay? I, ne I never go beyond a one square inch area. Just keep working the area lightly. No rushing here. Okay? <sighs> keep working lightly. These eraser are very good. My son uses it for school as well. It works wonders on pencil and dirt. Okay, so there you go. Hopefully you see uh, an improvement. But anyhow, I will keep working on the cover as much as possible and then uh, check, click on the link uh, I provided just to see the before and after. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.